Hi, I'm Gagan. For cybersecurity professionals preparing for certifications like the CISSB or advancing your career, understanding interactive application security testing, or IAST, is becoming increasingly critical. Building on the traditional SAST and DAST methodologies, which I covered in my video, SAS versus DAST application security testing methodologies, IAST represents the next evolution in application security testing offering improved accuracy and efficiency that cybersecurity professionals need to understand. Let's start with fundamentals of interactive application security testing. IAST is an application security testing methodology that combines elements of both static and dynamic testing approaches. As the name suggests, it operates by interactively monitoring applications during runtime to detect vulnerabilities. Unlike traditional methodologies that work either from the inside out or outside in, IAST instruments the application itself, adding sensors that monitor code execution in real time while the application is running and being tested. IAST effectively combines the comprehensive code analysis capabilities of SAST with the real world execution context of DAST, but with greater accuracy and efficiency than either approach alone. Now let's break down how IAST actually works. When implementing IAST, the process begins with instrumentation, where specialized code modules called sensors are injected into the application code. These sensors are lightweight pieces of code that don't alter the application's functionality, but create visibility into its inner workings. During runtime analysis, these sensors continuously monitor code execution pathways watching how data moves through the application while normal testing activities occur. With context-aware detection, IAST understands both the code structure and runtime behavior simultaneously, seeing exactly how data transforms as it flows through the application. This enables immediate feedback, where security issues are reported in real time with precise details about the vulnerability locations and how they can be exploited. The IAST architecture relies on two critical components working in tandem. The agent or sensors embedded within the application collect detailed runtime data about code execution, data movement, and security controls. This information is continuously fed to the analysis engine, which processes this wealth of contextual data using advanced algorithms to identify potential security vulnerabilities with high accuracy. The analysis engine can determine not just that a vulnerability exists, but precisely how it manifests during runtime execution. IaaS is generally deployed in testing environments where it can observe the application's behavior during functional testing, quality assurance processes, or dedicated security testing. IaaS offers important advantages that make it increasingly valuable for organizations focused on security. It provides high accuracy by monitoring code during execution, significantly reducing false positives compared to traditional testing methods. This contextual awareness means IaaS understands both code structure and how it behaves during runtime, giving it a complete picture of potential security flaws. When vulnerabilities are discovered, IaaS provides precise location data, pinpointing exactly where in the source code the issue exists down to the specific line number. This real-time feedback means security issues are reported immediately during testing, allowing for faster remediation cycles. With comprehensive coverage spanning both code level flaws and runtime vulnerabilities, IAS identifies issues that either SAS or DAS alone might miss. This efficiency translates to reduced manual verification workload for security teams who no longer need to sift through numerous false positives. Finally, IaaS is inherently developer-friendly, providing actionable remediation guidance that includes not just vulnerability information, but specific recommendations for fixing the underlying issues. IaaS design makes it highly suited for modern development methodologies. Its DevSecOps integration capabilities seamlessly incorporate security into existing development workflows without disrupting productivity. Being CI-CD compatible, IAST can be fully automated within continuous integration pipelines, providing security feedback with each build or deployment. This enables rapid feedback cycles that support agile and iterative development approaches, where security findings 
can be addressed immediately rather than discovered late in the development process. While IaaS offers many advantages, it's important to understand its limitations as well. IaaS runtime dependency means it requires a functional application running in a test environment, making it unsuitable for early development stages when code may not yet compile or execute properly. Coverage constraints are also important to consider. IaaS can only identify vulnerabilities in code paths that are actually executed during testing, potentially missing issues in really used application features or exception paths. Technology support varies amongst IaaS tools, with some having compatibility limitations with certain programming languages, frameworks, or deployment environments. While modern IaaS tools are designed to minimize performance overhead, the actual impact should be benchmarked for each specific application to ensure testing remains efficient. Finally, implementation complexity tends to be higher for IaaS compared to SAST or DAST, typically requiring more configuration and integration work to deploy effectively. Organizations can address these limitations through several strategies. Implementing comprehensive test coverage ensures testing exercises all critical application paths, maximizing IaaS effectiveness. Adopting complementary testing approaches using IaaS alongside SaaS for early development phases provides security coverage throughout the entire development lifecycle. Finally, tuning the instrumentation settings for your environment helps reduce performance impact while maintaining effective security coverage. Let's compare IAST with SAST and DAST methodologies we covered in our previous video. When comparing these methodologies, we see distinct differences in testing approaches. SAST uses white box static code analysis without execution. DAST employs black box dynamic testing from outside the application, while IaaS takes a gray box approach with instrumented runtime analysis that sees both inside and outside perspectives simultaneously. The timing within the development lifecycle also differs significantly. SAST operates early during development. DAST runs later on deployed applications, while IaaS fits in the middle during testing and QA phases when the application is functional but is still being refined. What's being tested also varies considerably. SAS examines source code, bytecode, or binaries without execution. DAST tests the running application through external interfaces, while IaaS examines the running application from the inside via instrumentation, giving it a comprehensive view. Each methodology excels at finding different vulnerability types. SAS detects code level flaws, visible in source code. DAST identifies runtime vulnerabilities accessible through interfaces, while IaaS can find both types with full execution context to validate their exploitability. Regarding accuracy, SAS tends to produce higher false positives due to its lack of runtime context. DAST generates moderate false positives but is limited to exploitable issues while IaaS typically produces the lowest false positives due to its combination of runtime validation and code awareness. Tool requirements differ as well. SAS needs source code access with language-specific tools. DAST works on any running application regardless of language, while IaaS requires a running application with instrumentation capabilities and is generally language-specific. Finally, remediation support varies significantly. SAST pinpoints code location but lacks runtime context. DAST identifies issues but may not locate their source code cause, while IaaS precisely locates issues with both code location and runtime context, making remediation much more straightforward. Now let's discuss how to effectively implement IaaS within your security program. Successful IaaS implementation begins with integration into existing testing processes. Rather than creating separate security testing workflows, incorporate IaaS into functional testing activities that are already happening, maximizing efficiency and coverage. It's critical to understand that IaaS is not a replacement for SAST or DAST. Each methodology serves distinct purposes in a comprehensive security program. Deploy all three approaches for complete coverage across the entire development lifecycle. 
CI-CD pipeline integration enables automation of IAST testing within continuous integration processes, ensuring security testing happens automatically with each build or deployment. Adopt risk-based prioritization to focus initial efforts on critical applications and high-risk components where vulnerabilities would have the greatest business impact. Developer education is crucial for success. Train development teams on understanding and remediating IES findings so that they can address issues efficiently without excessive security team involvement. Consider a phased rollout approach, starting with pilot projects to refine your implementation before expanding to organization-wide deployment. Finally, establish metrics and improvement processes to track security metrics that demonstrate IAS value while continuously optimizing test coverage. When evaluating IAS solutions, start by examining language support to ensure compatibility with your development technologies. Different tools support different programming languages and frameworks. Assess integration capabilities to confirm the solution can work seamlessly with your existing development tools, testing frameworks, and security processes. Carefully evaluate performance impact by understanding the overhead introduced during testing and whether it's acceptable for your environment. Review accuracy metrics by examining documented false positives and false negative rates, preferably from independent testing or third-party evaluations. Finally, evaluate the quality of remediation guidance by reviewing how clearly the tool explains vulnerabilities and provides fixed recommendation. The best tools offer clear, developer-friendly guidance that speeds up remediation. To summarize what we have covered, IAST is an advanced approach to application security testing that combines the benefits of both SAST and TAST while addressing many of their limitations. By monitoring applications during runtime testing, IAST provides accurate vulnerability detection with clear remediation guidance. While IAST offers important advantages in accuracy and efficiency, it works best as part of a complete application security program that includes multiple testing methods. I encourage you to watch my video SAS versus TAS application security testing methodologies as well for a complete understanding of application security testing approaches. For cybersecurity professionals, knowing how to implement IAST alongside other security testing met methods is increasingly important for certification exams and career growth in application security roles. I hope this overview helps you understand IAST and how it fits into your application security approach. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next cybersecurity video.